Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you just the basics of a cello bow hold. Now before I begin, I just want to put it out there that this is how I was taught to hold the cello bow. I started off eight years old as a bass player. Boom, there's my bass. And uh, I then added cello and I found it a very smooth transition from one to the other. I also teach and play violin and that bow hold is very different. So the cello bow hold, I've taught it the same way that I learned. And there are variations. Some people, you know, they say, you know, this finger goes here and this goes here and da 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 da. And that's great if that comes from your teacher and it doesn't cause hand tension and you can play all the technique and all the pieces out there with any kind of problems, then use it. It works. Everybody's fingers are different lengths, everybody's hands are different sizes, and so everyone is going to have a different bow hold, but we share the same principles. And so hopefully I can get that across in this video to you. So here's my cello bow. Ta-da. And what I learned a couple years ago was I was talking to a cello player that went to Interlochen, and she said that she learned to keep the most natural shape of your hand, which is the cello bow hold, you just put your right hand, that's your bow hold, you just put your right hand on your knee and just lift it straight up. Boom, that's your cello bow hold. Or you can flip it this way and you can see how your fingers get that natural curve in them. And so it's your thumb and your middle fingers that are basically your center of your bow hold. So here's my bow again. Da, 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 da. I'm going to put my thumb right here in that free spot. And now it's not straight like this. It's not totally kinked like this. It's just its natural shape. So thumb goes in. Now I like to put my middle finger on this metal clip right here. That's where it's the most comfortable for me. I've seen other people scooch up a little bit and play like this. I'm here. It's not a crazy difference, but that's just mine. Some of my students are kind of like an in-between, but this is my cello bow hold. And as you can see, there's my thumb. There we go. Has a slight curve. My wrist is flexible. Everything's loose. I've got space between my fingers. And, and that's basically it. Um, you just have to stay relaxed. You have to not squeeze your bow. You don't want to think of it as a grip because that's when tension comes in. It should be loose enough that someone can just pull it out of your hand. I had one teacher say you can think of your bow like a stick of butter. Like how hard would you squeeze that butter? Don't squeeze it. <laughs> no tension. And so there it is one more time. And so you can start off like this, thumb on the inside, come down. There's that free spot, there's my thumb. Again, I like my middle finger on the metal clip, that's just me. And then I lay the rest down. You don't wanna to go too far this way. You don't wanna to go too far this way. You don't ever want fingers sticking up, things going on like this. It's basically this. All right, so I hope that helps you. Again, that's just my bow hold. It's what I teach my students. You are free to roam the internet and pick whatever you like. Thanks.